back with another video and this video is about the um outrage of Joe Brown feeling a black man should be on money before a black woman because it's disrespectful and all other kind of stuff. And he gave his reasons to, I, I think he was talking to Omar Johnson, as to why a black man should be on the money first. Okay, I didn't respond on it at first. Because I needed to look at some people and see what some sponsors. And there's nobody better to look at than Cynthia G. Cynthia G <laughs> didn't hit every key point on the planet that could be made. And nobody could do it. <laughs> and the main thing I agree with her with, 100%, and I got this um, picture from her from her um, channel <laughs> with this black man face on it. <laughs> For what reason she say, and I agree, a black man, black men, as a group, as over the black community, has not create generational wealth for black women and their children. Unlike white unlike the white community and the non black community. They have created generational wealth for their wives spouses whether they're married or not and their children some may divorce wives and leave them out there to be poor or whatever but for the most part the white community has created generational wealth for their own um, women and children at us this is what we're talking about there is no generational wealth in the black community. And this is by 2053, it will be zero. So, that point, I see. When she says it makes no sense for black men to be on money when they have created no generational wealth for the women and children in the black community in black America. The next point she um, made was that black men don't want to pay child support. They whine about child support. They whine about black women on food stamps. They whine about black women getting welfare. And they absolutely wholehearted believe deep down in their soul that they should not have to pay child support. They should not have to take care of their children. Financially, period. I've heard it come out of people's mouth. I shouldn't have to pay child support. I have a son. He has two kids. He, he pays child support for his child. He has... He has one nine. No, she's 11. No, she's nine. My grandson is 11. No, she's 10. No, she's not 10 yet. But she'll be 10 because my other granddaughter, she just turned 10. And they're f five months apart. So she's not 10 yet. She's nine. My son pays child support for her. He has a new one that's one year old. He doesn't pay child support for her. Because him and the mother co-parent. I have a nephew that didn't pay child support when his wife got divorced. Him and the wife got divorced. They co-parent. They take care of their children. They were trying to create generational wealth for their children. They're trying to do that. 
they see a need to take care of the children. But as a whole, black America, black community, black men have not created any generational wealth for the black women and their children. And secondly, they don't want to take care of the children. They've made that clear. They do not want to take care of these kids. The third thing she says, she said a lot of points. And she, and she says, um, as far as a black woman being on there, and she went back to the point about Harriet Tubman, because the problem is they're not wanting to put Harriet Tubman on the money. And I'm beginning to think it's black men in that government that don't want Harry Tubman on the money. Not so much the white community. Because they put that other Susan B. Anthony lady on that dime or wherever she on. Or penny, wherever she on, what she on, dime, penny. They put her on a coin. But now they want to put Harry Tubman on the money. And... For black men, putting them on the money when they have created no generational wealth for black women and, and their children. They have created, um, they don't want to pay, ch they don't want to take care of their children. Therefore, they are forced to pay child support by the government because they will say, and I've heard this so many times, the famous word, I'd rather go to jail. I'd rather go to jail. It mean, and they literally go to jail. Get out of jail and go over and over and over and over again to the child. It's on us to get off child support, which I think is crazy. And then you have those that get caught up in it that go to jail and really be trying. But those that don't want to pay wants to be on money. Now, third, she mentioned Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, they want to put Harriet Tubman on turning out the bill. Why is it, why does it make sense for Harriet Tubman to be on the turning out the bill? From my perspective, it makes sense because Harriet Tubman did what it took to free the black man. From slavery, so he could move to different parts of America, the United States, and begin to create generational wealth for black women and their children. We know going through Jim Crow that didn't happen, and then then and then you have a third or whatever mother mean third or fourth in prison, which are they occupy the there are more in the prisons of America than in all the prisons on the planet so therefore they have not created even though through the railroad she underground railroad she did the hard work of freeing men and women so they can go places and, you know, for better life. These immigrants come to tell me they want a better life. That's what Harriet Tubman did to give these men a better life. Move north, move west. Because the south is where everything was happening crazy, which in all of America was built on that slavery thing. But at least Harriet Tubman did something to give black men an opportunity because it wasn't the black men that was doing it. Like, um, for example, um, from Roots, Kuti Kente. He was beaten into submission of accepting the name Toby. 
you could have beat the bricks off of Harriet Tubman, and she was never going to submit to it. So, my thing is, if you could put a woman on the money, at least she did the hard work to give the black man opportunity to create generational wealth. And we know what happened in these other places when they cre created the generational wealth. Things happen. But still yet, you could have moved away and still create generational wealth for your individual family. There's a way to get stuff. There's a way to do things. So, who right now is trying to create generational wealth for their children? Black women. They own their own businesses now. They are working hard to um, so their children are going to have the best. Like some of these single mothers, poor mothers, uh, raise these kids really hard. They have eaten and get these kids into these um, sports so they got a better chance at life. But who benefits from that? Her and that um, son. Not saying that girls don't go through it, but just an example. So, Sister G said a lot of things, and Sister G's hilarious. But the main two things that caught my attention when she said, it makes no sense for a black man to be on money. Because first of all, he created no generational wealth. Second of all, he don't want to take care of his children, and he don't want to protect and provide for black women, black American women, black women in the black community, and their children. And their children could be white women or other races. So their children and the black men community. You cry about child support. You cry about black women don't listen. But how can a black woman listen and sit there and suffer and struggle in poverty? Struggle being poor when she wants to do better. She wants to she wants to live she wants to live her best life like white women, like other wealthy um, black women. Whether they are married to wealthy black men or, or or white men or whatever, as a community, black women want that. So it's hard to listen to a black man that's poor telling you you should listen and accept. And this picture I see, which I think is crazy, this is. Black man, a young black man, a young black girl, standing on the back of a trash, of one of these big old trash truck full of trash. I ain't gonna say if she loved him, she accept him that way. I said that on Facebook, and my comment on the debt was this: only a black man would ask a black woman to do that. I'm not saying black women should marry white men or any other race, but I'm just saying. If George Joe Brown, I guess this is ego thing going on because him screaming and hollering and yelling like a crazy person about how disrespectful it is to put a black woman on, on the money first. When as a community, black men has no generational wealth, has no security, 
no protection for black women and their children. But they want to be on a $20 bill before a black woman, before Harriet Tubman. Anyway, that's it for the video, and I will see you on the next one. If you want to hear, or you want to get a good laugh, go to Cynthia G and listen to her. Um, let me see. Uh, I don't see it on the right away. And hear how she just sums this up. It's true. It's hilarious how she put it, but it's very truthful. Very truthful. The stuff that she next say, the reason she give, didn't come into my mind. But once she said it, it makes absolutely lots of sense why Harriet Tubman should be on the $20 bill before black man. And it got nothing to do with gender. It got nothing to do with a man head of the household because a man is this and a man is that. It got nothing to do with none of that. Because if you look at in the black community, women are forced to be the head of the household when a black man say, you a gold digger. When a black man say, I'd rather go to jail than pay child support. I got two girls. So, I'm speaking from what I hear out of these men's mouth. And the, and all the young girls that they went to school with, grew up with, and these young boys that they'll be dating and whatever. I'd rather go to jail and be child support. I'd rather go to jail and take care of my child. And the one, and the, and the biggest one, oh, if you don't have nothing to do with me or you don't, have sex with me, then you're not gonna get. If you want some diaper for the baby, well, what you gonna do for me? Craziest thing I ever heard. So, you got another girl, you married, you whatever, but you expect this your girl to come give you some sex to just see your child, to just take care of your child. It's crazy, but I don't care how crazy it is. Bottom line. You ain't taking care of your child. You're not protecting the black woman. You're not creating generational wealth for the black woman. Then you don't deserve to be on money first. Harriet Tubman, and I don't really care, but Harriet Tubman should be on the money first because of what she did. So black men can get out of the South and create generational wealth for the black women and for their children. So, that's it for the video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.